Well, hi, folks. Uh, this is Don. I'm uh, here helping Carl get his yurt laid out and uh, wanted to bring you up to speed before he gets here uh, later on today. So, basically, uh, we set roughly the diameter of the yurt in this clearing. And I set up a laser level here, self-leveling, and uh, I'm shooting my center line down through here. And that string that I've got pulled from here to the other end is um, it's dead center. It's the right height of the center line of the yurt. And uh, what I did was, just to give you an idea, I'll show you on the plan. Um, you'll see that there's a center line straight up and down on this. And I'm gonna set those center blocks or try to set those center blocks. That is this string here that you can see running down there. Um, and I've got two blocks sitting here. I've put some marking tape around it, and um, I'm just going to uh, get these fairly level. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you need to be basically level. And the 4x4 four four poles will then come to the height of the string from each one of these, uh, each one of these uh, pole space. And I'm going to do that all along the center line. All right, check it out guys, what we got done so far today. We got all of our uh, foundation blocks set and leveled where they need to be. We uh, already took some measurements for four by four cuts. And we're gonna go get them. All right, so. We got a couple projects going on right now. Me and the uh, old man is working on foundation for the yurt. I can't see you. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. I'll have to go up there and show you all. But she's working on the furnace up there. We got some polish. She's making it all nice and pretty. So yep. Got the four by fours measured. We're gonna go get them. Well, that's the, basically the size of our yurt right there. Yeah, like we 
come out further, but not much. Not much. That's the hardest. We got the hardest part done. Um, I think. Yes, yeah, sir. So if you ever need a your foot in. It's called the Taylors in Cork. And this is the plan we're going by. This is the plan we're going by. have put in some more cross beams and we got the perimeter done see what I'm talking about here so I think the last time I um, did any recording all we had was um, the four by six beams in every four feet and I think had some cross beams in I think this direction we've done a lot since the last time I recorded I've just been really busy with work haven't been able to record pretty much got the radius of the platform done um, got a couple interesting things to show you guys so the yurt itself I got uh, three what was it, three eighths Tongue and groove treated subflooring that's going to go down. Um, we had to um, put in these notches because the yurt, you know, the platform comes out a little bit further, about an inch and a half. And the yurt actually has to under 
on their lap. It gets tucked in underneath the bottom. It needs three inches. This is an inch and a half. So what we also have to do is uh, strip down that three-eighths inch uh, plywood down to an inch and a half strips and we'll double stack those inch and, uh, inch and a half strips it'll come out another inch and a half so it's three quarters times two inch and a half right this is already an inch and a half so it'll come out three inches it gives three inches for the yurt to tuck under and then we bolt the uh, your material down. It wraps around so when there's water it rains it doesn't seep in. It will just you know drain off the side off the bottom here. So we don't have any water leaking inside our yurt. But we're gonna do that all the way around. It's quite interesting. Basically these corner pieces we had to custom frame in ourselves. Um, all the way around. We already got those done. All the way around the yurt. So, once we get those, um, one, I think it's one and a half inch strips. Um, it'll be double wide, inch and a half. So we got a one and a half inch piece of plywood that goes around the whole perimeter. And that it will extend this out three inches. So all these corner, like again, all these corner pieces we had to custom make. And we're missing one here. And uh, all we got left to do is a couple bracings that we've missed. One out the far corner, one at that corner, one at that corner, one there, one there, and then once we get those one inch strips, we'll go around the perimeter of the yurt and then it'll be sub floor time. So, should be able to get the sub floor in by the. I don't know why this thing keeps. It's, 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 all the time but um, the platform is essentially just about done let's say about 90% done we gotta finish that up tomorrow um, tonight it's I got about an hour hour and a half of daylight so I'm gonna do some concrete mixing and I'm going to just go around our footers just to have it more secure. I was kind of worried about it raining a lot. It is sloped in here, so I know the water will drain down. I know it's very sloped in here, but I didn't want these to move around on me, so I decided to just do like a surface layer of concrete. It doesn't go into the ground, it's just a surface layer. Uh, that's what I'll be doing this evening. platform will be completed by tomorrow. I'm excited about it. Now we're just waiting on the yurt. Now we'll be driving up to Virginia. About three and a half hours. Go pick the yurt up here in about a week and a half or two. And then we'll start, uh, we'll put the yurt up. All right, so I think it'll be up in about a couple days. I mean, it's just me and my dad pretty much building this thing so in a time frame we probably spent uh, a couple hours of evening on this platform just to give you an idea number like five eight top of the platform is almost as tall as I am so that's how high it will be on the back side of the earth off the ground and um, in the front it's only 
to be a foot and a half off the ground. So it kind of gives you an idea <laughs> of the grade difference here. But I'm okay with that. I'll get a lattice or something to go around the outside underneath the bottom. Um, cover that in. But um, I'm going to be mixing concrete tonight. So I guess we should just get to it, eh? tonight. I'm tired. I've been working all day. Starting to lose light. Probably another 30 minutes. It's going to be dark out here. So I got some cleaning up to do first, but I made my first mistake. It's way too, way too thick. This is more like what I'm looking for. There's 18 total, I think. So tomorrow I'll have to uh, lay the concrete in center post before we lay our soap floor down. Just so they don't move around. I was worried about the water, but 